is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing Kenchi! <laughs> yeah, it's been some time since my last episode, because I had to go away for the holidays. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're going to pick up right where we are left off last time. We're going to send Dan and Cat, who just bought the recipes to crab armor all the way up to black scratch and then we're gonna head back over to our outpost uh we're heading that back past because there might be i wanted to look at the blueprints one more time over there so while they go over there we also are going to have our teeth which is agnew and beep we're going to send them up in this direction we're trying to fire i can't quite remember for the life of me where the red sabers are but i'm pretty sure they're right in this area if it's not right there <laughs> all together and then we are also back here with the paws we have pretty much finished building up the walls of our building see we here we got now an entire wall around our entire city yes and we're gonna go ahead and begin to actually put a real gate here this doesn't actually need to be done this is like, I'm gonna break this down and put a gate here because this is where most of the merchants and everything come through so we're gonna put our merchants and uh, our wall our gate and some turrets yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that quickly. Let's speed this up. Then wait. Yeah, what's up? My necklace! It's... Pulsating. Yeah. It feels like... Ugh, it's vibrating. Here, let me see. Here. Hey! Look! It's being pulled towards that lone tower down there. Hmm. Let's go check it out. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely being pulled towards the tower. That's weird. What do you think is causing it? No idea. But we'll find out soon. Strange. The door is locked. Hmm. And I don't see a way to open it. No knob or keyhole or anywhere. Look. Your necklace. It's glowing brighter than it ever has before. And <laughs> it's practically ripping itself off the leather strap. Let it go. Let's see what happens. Hey! The door is opening! Let's see what's inside. There is nothing here but a bunch of junk. I wouldn't say that. Come look what I found in this old safe. Ooh, what in the world are these things? I don't know. I've never seen anything like them before in my life. They look sort of like my necklace, but larger. What do you think they are? No idea. But only one way to find out. I'm not sure you should be picking them up like that. Whoa! What? This thing, it feels odd, almost as if I'm holding a miniature power core, and it's shocking me every time I move. You should probably put that back then. No, I think I know what they're for. Look at the inscription on it. It says, Training Inhibitor Mark 1. Hey, you're right. And this one says, okay, Mark 2, this one's Mark 3. Four and Mark Five. Wow, there is an old letter here as well. Oh, oh, read it. Okay. <clears throat> I have learned of another ruin that might just have what you need to complete your research. Sadly, it is right in the middle of the Holy Nation territory, so you must be careful not to be seen by any of their patrols. Oh. I think this letter must have been addressed to that skeleton you've seen burn at the stake. Ooh. Yeah, apparently he wasn't careful enough. But what was he researching, and what are these things? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they appear to be some type of training device. Yeah, they seem to be designed to help their user get stronger faster by making even easy fights hard. I don't know. Would that even work? Well, there's only one way to know for sure. Let's go try them out. Oh, not out here you don't. Everything in the pit is far too dangerous for you to be messing around with this strange tech. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We will have to go find ourselves some normal bands to beat up on before we can try them out.
Well, well. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see what we've got here. <laughs> so we've got a strange object that greatly hinders movement when equipped, forcing its user to anticipate their opponent's attacks and react with minimal actions. Training inhibitor mark one. Mark two. Oh, so what's this do? Mark Lee attack and defense bonus down by 50. Martial arts bonus down by 50. Whoa. 60, 70, 80. 90? Well, how's that help me? That seems like it's not something I'd want at all. The stats here. So by lowering my my weapon stats, does that make it so when, if I equip one of these things, if I equip, let's see if I can just put this right here. Okay, no, it does not equip with that equipped. So if I equip that, now my stats. Oh, 11 attack and 10 defense. <laughs> That's horrible. But if I equip one of these things, does that make it so I actually get experience from fighting low-level monsters? Which would actually enable me to fight, actually gain, legitimately gain. But that would be nightmarish. Well, okay, so we've got, all right, one roll. Okay, we got a decent amount of these things. And here's the old letter. I have learned another ruin of another ruin that might just have what you need to complete your research. Sadly, it is right. That's what, see what you read that. Okay. All right. Well, but I don't need the letter. I'm going to guess I can pick these all up and I'll try them out. I'm not sure that, well, legitimate way of going around, but that means I'd have to, I can't beat anything with that. I'd have to get a lot stronger before I can even use the Mark One at a reasonable place. Like fighting, I don't know what I'd fight for that. Well, that's just, that's just a mess. Well, that's still a mess. All right, here, I'm going to give myself, oh, now they're all messed up. I shouldn't have done that. Send it hit. Here's a Mark One, so I'll keep that. Oh, I have one in my inventory. Give one to Cat too. So let's see if there's anything else here. Nope, that's end empty. What we got here? Looks like um, power core, parchment, skeletal muscle. Anything up here? Nope. Just a damage book. Down below. A bunch of just random junk. Probably could take off with some of that stuff, but I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think I need to. And what's else down here? Um, book? Oh, there's, oh, an actual book. Oh, that doesn't help. Old map, damage books, crossbow parts. Um, you know, I have enough money. I'm not going to carry all that stuff around. I do want to try this thing out, though. Uh, like Kat said, though, I don't think I can actually use it in this area. If I go try to use something like that in this area, where are we exactly? Map, map, map. Ah, oh, we only made it halfway to... Uh, yeah, we only made it halfway to Black Scratch. Let's go up here towards the Reaver Camp. I don't think that's a Reaver Camp anymore. Oh, that's right. Cat can pick Dan up again. Here. And Dan. Um, oh, wait, no. Pick up Dan. There we go. And now Cat can go. Let's go up here. Fast forward. See if we can find somebody. Oh, here. Here's some battle. What do we got? What are these guys? Human! Alright, so they're... Ah, oh, skeleton bandits. They got 30... Oh, they got 39, 31. Yeah, that's not going to work. I can't use that thing here. Let's put Dan down. I'm going to try to put it Dan here. So, okay. Then Dan, give Cat her backpack back so you can actually fight. Well, kind of fight. I'm going to put this on Dan. I know I shouldn't, but I want to see if it actually affects anything. Stats. So, Dan's current thing is 65 in heavy weapons. Melee attack... 70, uh, 67. And here we go. We're going to attack. Uh, stupid music there. Cat's wiping him out. Dan's getting his butt kicked in. Of course Dan's going to get his butt kicked in. He's never even going to get a hit. Oh, there. Did Dan get a hit? I don't know. Status. Uh, I have no idea how to tell if that actually worked out well or not. Uh, we can take some of those. We don't need any of this stuff. Uh... No deal, just a scratch. Yeah, we don't need all this. Oh, there's more fighting going on over here. Let's go check this out. You can't... Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Hey, it looks like... um. Oh, teeth and growl are under attack. Uh, okay, they're just fighting... Ah. <laughs> all right. Uh, spiders, blood spiders, map. 
Uh, we're going to this ruin, I think. Oh, no, this outpost here. That's it. That's it. That's the outpost we were headed towards. Let's go back to Dan. And Kat. I still want to kind of try this thing out. Oh, here. Dan, attack him. Oh, no, everyone's going to run all around here. Where Dan's going out over here. There. Is Dan actually hitting stats? I don't know how, how to tell. It's, okay, set, oh, from 15 to 17? I think. I think Dan's doing good, get, getting stat, stats that way. That might actually work. 17. Uh, still take a decent amount, and Dan can hardly do any damage worth anything. Oh, teeth are intact again. Yeah, they're just probably nothing. Let's make sure. Here we are. Yes. This is what we were looking for, these guys right here. So, I think I'm going to just have Dan run off. Uh oh, uh oh. Beep, beep, beep. Move, beep. Do not just stand there. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. And then fight. Stinking blood. Blood fin. Oh, shoo. Oh, that could have been bad. Standing there in the middle of water. All right. Let's get back to claws. Get Dan and Cat. Eh, that will just get them to run back up towards. Uh, yeah, here we go. There we go. And then back to teeth. We're trying to try go use these guys to go ahead and get the other bounty we're after here. The red saber bandit bounty. Come on. There we go. Let's put normal speed here. Let's have Agnew open it up. And here's the red sabers. Uh, they're not going to attack me on, by, on right on out base. They have 15 stats. They're not bad. Ooh, Beep got himself beat up by the blood, blood spiders. They're not going to attack me? Really? What in Narkel's man go? Okay, there they are. They're attacking. All right, Hexley, you know what? I think I'm going to pull them out here because I don't want to be in the water. I mean, not in the, inside. Yeah, I don't want inside. Well, Beep, I think, has a bonus for being inside, but I'm not entirely sure. There we go. I know Agnew has a negative bonus. There we go. There we are. Should be easily enough to take these guys down. Just as long as Agnew don't go down, we'll be fine. Ooh, Agnew just took out three in one strike. Ooh, there goes my more. Agnew is getting beat up, though. Where's the main guy we're after here? I don't know. Beep. Come on, Beep. Don't go down. Okay, Beep's doing good. All right, where's the main guy? Red Saber is slightly injured. It's probably going to run back in there. Okay. There he is. That's him. That's him. Yep, that's him. He's already, his leg is already busted. No, actually, Beep smacked this guy. Ooh, Beep just went down to him. Oh, come on, Beep. Get up. Agnew, don't go down. Please don't go down. I don't want to have to go after this guy again. Oh, crippled. All right. Yeah, I don't have to worry. This guy's not getting anywhere. His leg's gone. I didn't heal his leg. Ooh, there he goes. Down. His legs should be ball busted. Yes, his legs all busted, but we don't want him to die, die. And, okay, yeah, he's getting healed from... Oh, was getting healed there for a sec by somebody else. Come on. Take him down. And he should have a better... Oh, wait. Beep already has a Metsu quality saver. Yeah. There we are. Down. This is the guy. Red saver boss. Oops, here. Yeah. Oh, it's a horse chopper. Oh, it's a chopper? Uh, no, it's a saver class. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is it better than what Beep has? Beep. You have a saver class. Two cutting damage, blood damage, nine mid blood loss. Almost exactly the same. What's the difference? Ah. Uh, this one has less attack, one less attack, a defense bonus. All right, yep, this one's worth more, but we're going to keep that anyway. Uh, high grade, high grade, we don't need that, don't need that. Uh, don't matter if I take that or not. There we go, and let's go ahead and beat, pick him up. Red Saber, unconscious. That's not him. No, where's he at? There he is. Pick up. 
There we go. Now, we've taken out the red sabers. Let's uh, hit, hail yourself. Are you up there, like new? Bandit demands. Oh, has arrived at your outpost. Well, my outpost isn't exactly ready, so I'm just going to not click back there for a while. Okay, repair yourself. There's growls under attack with something. Uh, they're not going to get... Yep, aiming. Okay. There we are. Oops. Oh, yeah. Also healed that guy. Well, how about this guy? All right, you healed that guy too. My leg's busted. He's not going anywhere. This guy. Wow, well, wait. That guy's leg is not gone? Whoa. All right, Agnew's all good. Beep's all good. Well, kind of. Beep could go down to a bug right now. Where is the closest place to turn these guys in? Let's make sure we actually get the right place to go take, send these guys to. Let's see. You want are wanted by the Shek Kingdom. Please tell me you are also wanted by the Shek Kingdom. Yes, they are both wanted by the Shek Kingdom. So we got to go to basically Squin. Yep, Squin's going to be the closest place for us to go. Come on. Go to Squin. Thank you. There they go. That took them a while. They're going to run off in different directions. Should be fine. I say that probably won't be. Uh, shouldn't run off in different directions. All right, back to Dan and Cat. They're almost back. Flat scratch. Over here. Let's come on in. Flat scratch. And then we will go ahead and get back to teeth. Make sure they get where they. See, I told you they come here. Every tech hunter goes through Black Scratch eventually. Oh, great. I'm going to have to hear you brag about this for the next month, aren't I? You bet. <sighs> hey, you two. You're the ones who broke into Knuckles' trap, right? Um, uh. Relax. We're not bounty hunters. I'm Mangus McCoy, and C is Faye Domflower. We are mercenaries, some of the best, and we want to join you. Wrong. I'm not a mercenary. I'm a field medic. I don't believe in killing others for money. Oh, please. Not that whole pacifistic spew again. Last time you went on so long, my ears literally started to bleed. Ignore him. He's just getting old and cranky. Okay. You want to join us? Yes. We've heard that you've used a tech from Narcos Trap to set up a secure outpost in the Flatlands with plenty of room to grow. Mangus and I are looking for a place to finally settle down and maybe start a family. Your new city sounds like the best place for it. If and you think I'm going to have kids with you, you really have gone soft. Blasted Hippocratic Oath. Oh, be quiet, you old coot. So, what do you say? Will you have us? I'm willing to be your cook as well as your doctor, and Mangus' sword is still sharper than any you will ever find in the wasteland. Sure. We're always looking for more to join us. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome aboard! aboard. <laughs> hey, hey, all right. So we've got two new characters, Faye and Mangus. Welcome to... Well, we don't actually have a name yet. Nameless. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Ah. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look about these new two characters. So right here, Mangus, he's got a rhubarb mustache. Pretty interesting looking. So let's go actually see what his stats are. Or actually what he's got in his inventory. Well, he's got nothing in his inventory. Shoddy grade equipment. Standard grade. And, uh, okay. It's a rusty chainmail, falling sun. Hey, that's not a bad falling sun. It's not a good one either. And he's got a thief backpack and hell rations. Let's see his stats. Ooh. Well, hello. Yeah, he's not wrong, wrong about being a decent... <laughs> He's more than a half decent fighter. He's pretty good. He's, he's really good, actually. Let's see about May Donflower. No, Faye Donflower, not May Donflower. Okay. So let's see. She doesn't seem junk, junk, junk. All right. So she's, she's got nothing, and she's got four basic kits uh, and stats. Well, what? <sighs> For being a pacifist, he's definitely good, but she does also have 50 mil, uh, field medic. Zero, zero perception. She's almost as good as Mangus. Well, that's just, um, 
a bit much. All right. Well, we need to get them some better equipment and get them all the way back over to the base. But we also have a problem here. We don't, they're not, let's see, let's see. Oh, they're open, we're open. We can actually, you know what, I've got to sell some stuff probably to get to see if I can get my characters a little less inventory space. Oops, go in here. Oh, no, 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 I said, go in there. There you go, come on. Welcome, brother. All right, so this place opens all the time. Okay, that's right, I came back because I wanted to see things this guy is selling. Dan, talk to this guy. So we got, oh, we still got all that stuff. We don't need this, don't need this. We need that. Is that a, oh, that's a Metsu. Oh, that's a Metsu quality. I'm not going to sell that. Metsu. Uh, what do you have? Junk, junk. Um, oh, we haven't actually learned that. Okay. And then we want to go through. Oh, I don't need this. I don't need this. All right. Yes, yes, that's good. Well, I want, you know what? Oh, I only have 344K right now. I don't really need more of these. I will eventually buy absolutely every single blueprint. I want to do that, but I just realized these things are not cheap. And I've been going through money like leaking sib. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait to buy all this stuff until I have like a couple million. That way I can just click on it and not care if I, ha if I learned it already. And then sell it back if I have already learned it. Yeah, I know that's a that will be a waste of money, but I think that's a better way to go about this. Is there anything I can weight-wise arrange? I have 14? Wait, no. Yeah, I do. I have 14 skeletal repair kits. I think I'm going to sell some of those. I don't need all of them. Yeah, just sell all, all you can take. There we go. Actually, you know what? I take and sell that one. It's stolen. There we are. Okay. Anything Dan got more? He's got all this stuff, but there's nothing... Oh. Stolen. Why are they stolen? Where did I steal them from? Hmm. I don't know. It's been too long since I last played to know where I stole them from. <laughs> okay, these guys. She should be medic all the time. Hoy, break it up. Oh, it's just random going on, junk going on over there. Okay, so Dan and Cat are actually pretty encumbered. I wonder what the walk speed are at here. Is walk speed 19? 17. What's Mangus run at? 18. Fade Donflower, what are you running at? 18. Okay. Well, that actually got pretty good running speed. Then I might as well just go ahead and have them run all the way back. Run all the way back to my outfit. Really? I want. Nah, I can just run back here anytime I want to buy what I need. Go ahead and go back to the outpost. Let's switch over to Teeth. Where are you guys at? Oh, oh! Hey, they made it to the town! Alright! We can deliver the boat two bounties. Come on. Do, 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 do. Wait, that's not a bouncy place. No, wrong place. It's the other side of the town. All the way over here. There we go. Come on. Move it, mortals. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. There we go. That's. Oh, the guy's not here. Oh, he's fighting some random person. There. We'll have to go back. Go oh, up, up. Uh, up. Oops. Here we are. And. Oh, there's Biggie. Okay. But this guy, I might have to break out the Dust King and sell him again because I keep on, they keep on telling me that I keep on getting bound, I keep on getting attacked. Agnew cannot talk to people. That's right. I keep forgetting that. Beep. Yes. Hand over bounty. Yay. Now Agnew has to hand over the bounty as well. So let's go have Beep pick up this guy. No. Okay. Well. We have to go back outside, otherwise the automatic mech would pick him up. I knew could actually just have dropped him off into one of the cages. Put down. Pick up. There we go. Beep. Where's this guy at? Uh, come on. He's gone again. Wait, he's in... Oh, wait, no, he's put away the... Wait. Who's this? Why is this Sheck Guardian put in jail? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Okay, that's the guy I just put in jail. My bad. <laughs> Here we go. There's a bot. They eye the body on your shoulders. Here for the reward? Yeah, hand over the bounty. There we go. 
All right, so we've just handed over all the bounty. Uh, Beep could use a moment of rest, but I don't think that really matters. I think we can just run right back down. Is there anything else we wanted to do in Squin? I don't think there was anything we wanted to do in Squin. We just got two um, new Metsus. We got the Garless Katana from taking what the one, and we also got uh, the Saber from from taking this guy, the Red Sabers. Yeah, the Saber from the Red Sabers. All right. Anything we want. I don't think there's anything here, so I'm going to go ahead and send them back down to the outpost. And we're going to have to speed this up because this is going to be one long trip on both sides. Oh, where's the outpost here? Back in the flat lagoons. Oh, here, here's the wrong way. Here we go. Flat lagoons. All the way back. How are the claws going? There we are. And I've. Oh, actually, I need to go ahead and switch back over to the pot. Back over. Here we'll have to we'll have to fight these guys off here. I said new bound uh, bandits the man has arrived at outpost. So where are they at? That was a bit ago, but where does the bandit demands come in? No, I don't see the bandits demands. Bandits demands. Is that guy? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. I can actually sell to him. Hive caravan boss. I need to sell some junk to him. But the bandits demands are not here. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And two of the other characters are back. Uh, yeah. So. All right, Cat and Dan are now home. No, Dan had actually left Cat behind. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right, so we uh, let's talk about what we've done here while, while we were sped up. First off, we've gone ahead and built a proper opening, a U-shaped opening right here. So this is a kill box. They walk in here, they die. And we've also got our watchtower is being built. So if we go to the very top of the watchtower, we have one Harpoon Mark II with a spotlight on it. That'll shoot down into this area. And it will do lots and lots of damage. Of course, I would, to really defend, defend, defend it more, I need to put more than just one. I'm going to have definitely at least two. I'm already working on the second one after this one's built. I may have a... To after we get enough recruitment points, I might put Mangus on one of them. So we might have three total archers sitting here. I would like to have at least four, but with Mark II's, we shouldn't really have a problem. We have some decent, we have some decently powerful characters already uh, available. I uh, just have to make sure I have at least two, some of them behind at all times. So either either claws or teeth has to be left behind most of the time. Okay, now that uh, we've also expanded all the way out and around. Yay! We've actually got our there. Bandit demands is moving towards your outpost, but they've already were moving towards my outpost and got destroyed. Well, it got disappeared. So we should, let's go ahead and see that. That's stats. No, that's not stats. You go map, and then you can go. It's not AI. What's upcoming things? Faction. Here it is. All right. Tech hunters. Supposedly I have. That's right. I have a bounty. They didn't actually. They didn't actually ever get here. I don't know what happened to that. Uh, but, but I got some mercenaries. Uh, upcoming dust bandits. But dust bandits. Targets. Nameless. Your outpost. Yeah. The dust bandits. I, I wiped them out already. Shouldn't have them actually coming to attack our outpost, but that's fine. I mean, they're not a threat. It's just a pain. All right, so we're also going to go ahead and tear down this little bit that's left. I don't think there's anything in here. We're going to tear that off. And now we're also going to, since we've got this new character, we're going to go ahead and put her in pause. So we're going to go faction squads. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put her in pause. Dawn Flower and Paws. Now, Dawn Flower is also going to be my cook, but to be a cook, I'm going to have to set her up to be a cook. So, we're going to bring her over here. This is, I think, this is. Um, yeah, this is too crowded in here. Otherwise, I'd put this stove and whatnot in here. This is this will be the best over here. So, we're going to put our crows and cooks over here and set her up cooking. We've already got these things going, fabrics going. We've got tons of hemp. Actually, let's check out how much hemp we have. No, we have a thousand. <laughs> we have no fabrics, but we have a ton of hemp. <laughs> okay, how much hemp do we actually have? I think we're, yeah, 2,000 hemp. Okay, well, well, we have too much hemp. Way too much hemp. Way, way too much hemp. <laughs> okay, so we actually need to set up a couple more fabric makers. 
hemp fabric makers because we're actually out of hemp fiber fabrics and this is not being kept up very fast so we need to put up a couple more fabric things we need to put up a full cooking station here so i'm going to go ahead and do that really quick um so you can watch that right here but i know it takes too long for me to do it in real time so we're going to speed it up all right All right, so we've got this little raid right here. <laughs> uh, Mini is good. I'm going to have him open fire on them. Oops. Mini just uh, shoot at. There we go. Let's see if make sure this actually works. Two. Ooh. 250. One shot. Um, why isn't he shooting more, though? Oh, it looks like I made it so he can't actually shoot them. Oh, that's stinking stupid. Come on. Unless he's not shooting at them. No, he just wasn't shooting at. Why? Is he passive? Um, where's aggressive? Is there a way to make him automatically shoot? Oh, yes, there is. There is uh, in, in your AI turret. There is one something about shoot first, ask questions later. Yes. Turrets will shoot at any potentially dangerous but neutral targets, such as wild animals or bandits, wait without waiting for them to attack your base. There you are. Oh, wait, what are you doing, Meanie? Get back up there! Oh, I just told him to move. Shoot! He's not shooting! Why isn't he shooting? Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that was fast. That was dumb. He didn't shoot. Maybe I put him in the wrong position. It looked like he could shoot there. I, I don't know what was going on with that. That's stinking stupid. All right. We've also got um, our cooking setup. Well, almost set up here. Let's go back to uh, Paul's. Dawn Flower. We have one more cooking thing we have you set up here for. But she seems to be busy already. Cook and Q. I want her to cook. If she can't do anything else, she can cook juice sticks. Yes. Repeat Q. And then we can tell her to do it all the time. Now we need to tell Animal to... Animal stuck. There we go. Animal, cue that one. Animal, cue that one. Keep those things going. There we go. And the Don Flower is delivering bread. She's making bread. Then if she's not making bread, I mean, if she's got enough bread, oh wait, she'll always be doing that. I got these backwards. Stupid music is getting really loud. <laughs> All right, so I probably need to put these a higher priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to put these two cooking ones up to the highest priority. Uh, otherwise, she'll never do it. Where's she at? Fade Dawn Flower. Hauling bread to oven. So I need her to cook. Oh, whoops. Did I tell Animal to cook a food? I think I told Animal to cook food. Well, that's okay. Animal's never going to get around to cooking food. That's fine. There we are. Oh, wait. No, it, it didn't actually add. She's got too many. No, she doesn't. Oh, well, whatever. We'll go ahead and bring this up from operating machine to cooking. There we go. That's a make her cook. And then she will do grain silo, bread, and yep, that, that, that'll do it. She is now our cook. For some reason, though, it won't let me tell her. Oh, she, no, I don't want her to do two sticks. No, 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 no. You know what? Let's just do this from the beginning. Oops, auto saving. There we go. Okay, so this, this, if not that, then this, then if not that, then this, and if not that, then you can do this. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. There we go. Now, she's, do she's being our cook. We will have her, she'll have bring in some nice food that we really need it right now because we've been able to buy and sell from these guys. We've got tons of these guys coming through and uh, Sadnil and Sadnil in Rikua are keeping us more than supplied. Oh, you know what? I better take off hips too. <laughs> Sadnil and Rikua are keeping us more than supplied with stuff we can sell. Actually, you know what? Take these things. 
as well. A mark three. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You know what? I'm gonna I need to make sure everybody has has either a katana or a heavy sun. If if they're too light to not be able to use that, that's a, probably a, I need to make sure of that too. That'll take me a little bit. But here, as I was saying, I can then take and grab uh, one of these guys. Anything that's not masterwork, specialist, 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 master grade specialist. Uh, so he's not doing too good lately. That stinks. And we can come over here and sell to him and get all of our money off of uh, give up, give him all. Let's see your supplies. Sell to him. He's not going to have actually that much money. Nope, he doesn't hardly have any money. All right, actually, I send to sell to him that. Yeah, let's, let's not sell that. We just sell these here and then we can sell nope we can't afford that well if you can't afford that we'll go ahead and buy whoa 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 yeah we'll buy 25 rock gohan <laughs> and then we can just sell them everything again there we go nope uh we can buy ration kits oh oh ration kits or food cube mm, if we want him to have more money we'll buy ration kits which will make it so we'll never have to worry about uh starving anyway there we are he's out of money again and uh yeah, there's nothing else we want. All right, go back to work, Sad Nail. <laughs> but we can get, we, these guys keep coming through. I don't have to go very far. They just come here. Sometimes I have to search a little bit to, to sell to them, which is a pain. Now, Mangus and Gilroy, why isn't this done? Okay, we're still doing it. I need to put, probably put Mangus actually right up here. We're going to have to build a, an actual bridge from here. Let's go ahead and do that. Add a building, uh, actually walls. It'll be a ramp. We're going to go ahead and put a ramp. Oh, I can't put a ramp there. Where can I put a ramp? Ooh, ramp. Oh, I didn't leave enough room for a ramp. Well, I wasn't really planning to use a ramp. So it's not a big deal. I just uh, these, these towers don't seem to be working out that well. So I should be able to clamp a ramp right here. Why can't I clamp a ramp? Nah, that's stupid. Oh, there's one. There. That, well, that won't hurt. Confirm. They put a ramp there, and we can actually put a tower, an actual gun-mounted unit right in here. But we also need to put some uh, electric lamps on this as well. Uh, so I guess I've got a little bit of more base about keep to do before we actually go on and do something else. So I'm going to speed this up. I know it's boring to do it, but it has to be done. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got, got everything all done. We've got uh, food coming in from Faye Downflower. We've got three people up on our crossbows, so we should be pretty good to go. The only thing now we need to do is actually get stronger. And um, so we can... Ooh, I need to put that away. <laughs> we only need to carry... Oh, Dan actually has that on. He should not have that on right now. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, we actually need to go out and see if these things actually do work. So... That's what we're going to do. First, we're going to go ahead and empty out Dan's inventory, Dan and Kat's inventory. They don't need to be carrying all the stuff around the yard. Let's go ahead and make a general box. Is there a general box here somewhere? No, you can't put a general box outside. It'd be really nice if you could. Storage. Uh, let's go ahead. General storage chest. General storage box. You can't. I really like it if you could put like right there or, or like right here. But it has to be built on the inside, which stinks. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully this won't block it, anyone from getting any, anything in over there. Somebody lost a Garu. It's got stuck behind my stuff over there. All right, confirm. Go build that, everyone, real quick. Doesn't take too long. There we go. Dan, go ahead and put your stuff in there. You don't need it in there. You don't only need the Mark Ones. We're not going to be anytime soon before we start using a Mark Five. Well, I don't think we'll ever use a Mark Five. A ninety percent negative in attack power? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, let's go test these things out. Uh, let's get uh, also medical bench. Don't need that. Don't really need a uh, repair kit. Um, yeah, I guess it's fine to leave that on him. Don't need the, that. Let's see. <laughs> Thousand. No, no, it's only got one in it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and the oh no, that's a good quad. That's a metsu. Let's go ahead and put that in the metsu drawer. Let's see, so what metsus do we have? That's not a metsu. That's gotta go selling. 
Like that's gotta go selling too. That's a Model S Type One. Why are these got? Oh, because people are dropping off anything. You know, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Let's go ahead and put them in. Oh, we're gonna run out of room, aren't we? No, oh well. Tape edge. Tape junk, junk. All right. Is that everything Dan can drop? I think almost everything Dan can actually drop, except for some of these repair repair uh, repair kits. He doesn't need more than two on him. Where do repair kits go? No, that's not repair kit. I thought there was a specific place for a repair kit. Ah, oh, there it is. There we are. And yep. Yeah, so Dan now is empty. He can move. I don't need this. There we go. Weasel standing around. He doesn't have anything to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weasel. Here. I can go ahead. I have 10 do some research with a smaller... Me me no. Ancient science book. I have two ancient science books. I'm not going to do that. Hive. There we are. Hive. We can do hive stuff. Uh, nope. Don't want to use my ancient sidekick. Hive tier armor too. Uh, industry wells three. Don't need that. Ancient science books too. Don't need that. Hashish production. We don't need that. We don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Not, not right now, anyway. Mounted crossbows too. Definitely don't need that. And. Oh. Hivers. Oh, we have to have the. Hiver skeleton leg. Ancient science book. Nope. Court. All right, so that's only two things you can actually. There's not very much you can actually research with Hiver stuff. Okay. And now, cat, let's empty out your inventory as well. You don't seem to have much on you except for. All right. Yep. Let's learn that. So you don't need all eight of them. But isn't that. Yeah, well, it's not going to get to have all them on there. So let's have her put away some of them. Two, three, down. She's only carrying two, so you don't need more than two. We don't need that on her either. Medkit. Wait, where's medkit? There's a medic. Oh, duh. There we go. Uh, actually, you know what? let's just take one. There. Okay, Dan and Cat. Let's go try out these weird objects. And the best way to do that. Hey, is that Agnew stuck there? Or who's that stuck there? It is to go up towards the Nomad Plains, I think. Nomad Plains? Let's see where Agnew's at. Nope, Beep and Agnew are still stuck outside the place. <laughs> Standing around. Okay, you come back. No? You're not. You guys have busted AI right now. Come on. There we go. I found a little, so this, the AI thinks they can get out here. So they're congregating right here. My own AI think they can get out here. And they're, so if I ever need to buy and sell anything, I know where to look now, over here in the corner. <laughs> so, um, it's not something I meant to have happen, but it did. When I say completed the area, it's kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Here's a good place to try to practice, but these guys are actually really nasty beasties. Here. So Dan will wear that. I think he's gotten a bit of combat since... Can Dan even hit anything with that? Let's see. Stat. Uh, stats. Dan. 65. Oh! He's actually almost gone up in one level. Let's keep fighting these things. Alright. 
There should I saw I saw I saw some numbers around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there's one. Here's two more. Yes. Oh no 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 no. Okay, here. Here they come. Let's go a little bit faster. See if Dan can actually hit these things. Yeah, Dan is actually hitting them. Even with. Ooh yeah, Dan is actually hitting them. So status. Oh wait, does he actually have that equipped? Yeah, he has it equipped. 65, 90. Okay, yes. This is actually going well. Let's go ahead and pick up these guys' pelts and whatnot. Not that I need them, just more food, meat is good. Always good to have more meat. All right. So this is actually working, except for Dan and Cat are going to get beat up really bad. So let's come over here. Actually, just have Dan attack this this time. My cat stands there. Come on, Dan, you can do it. Oh, yeah, look at Dan go. Well, <laughs> cat had to have her say. There you go. Grab this stuff. Status. 91%. Wow, this is going to take a long time. It's going to take a definitely a long time. Discovered unknown. Discovered unknown what? I know. Oh, spring! Yeah, spring! But I bet we could go fight by the hives. If I could survive the southern hive, they'll never be my friends anyway. If I can survive fighting the southern hive, they're pretty dangerous, especially with the expanded AI thingy. I'm not sure that's a good idea. They could get, take Dan and Cat and uh, <laughs> run off with them to the king. That would, not, might not be a good idea. But we'll see what we can do. Let's see. Uh, where's the hive? Down over here. Let's try to be safe. If I start seeing myself getting power drive, I'll pull back. Here we are in the hive. And there doesn't actually seem to be anyone here. Oh, yeah, there's somebody here. All right, so let's have Cat pull one or two out. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Hive worker. Here we go. Red, green, red, red, red. Uh, where's Dan at? Okay. Stink at trees. I can't see what's going on. I thought Dan ran inside there. Like, oh, no. Here. Here they come. Are they coming? Can't see. Cat, are you doing it? There, there. Yes. Here. Dan, cat. There we go. Stop, stop spinning. What? So we've got teeth. we got... I don't need any of this stuff. Probably could just take his weapon, though. That way he can't fight back again when he gets up. And we have Dan actually go ahead and <laughs> track this as martial arts. That'd be hilarious. Uh, there we go. Let's see here. Well, we've got workers. They just seem to be all mostly workers. Here they come. Dan will jump in there. And Dan smacks him down in one attack. Did he really knock him? Whoa. What? Wow. Okay, I guess these guys... Well, they're 23. How did Dan smack them both dead in one attack? Okay, here, let's try this. Let's just keep close eye on Dan. There we go. Mm -hmm. Dan, come on. He's taking him out. Oh, he's, once he got overwhelmed, it's not doing too good with being overwhelmed. Oh, he did take him. Oh, there he took them. He took them. Cat should be fine. Uh-oh, 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 Dan just went down. Cat really went down. Uh-oh. Victory for the hive. Uh. You know what? Get out of there. Come on. Come on, move. Uh, that was dumb. I let him go right in there. I was saying, let's be cautious in here. I actually just took him all the way in, and Cat even got taken down. Come back out here, Dan. Out, Dan. Where's Cat? Oh, Cat is all busted up. She really got busted up. Dan just got knocked down again. They're not picking me up, though. That's good. All right, bounty. Bounty for who? A thousand? Wait, do these guys give you bounties? Really? I did not know that. That's crazy. Well, I don't want a bounty. I hate that having that over my head. Oop, cat just got knocked down again. What are they taking her down? Drone hive guards. There's just a lot of them. That's what's going on. Mm. Get up, kitty. 
There we go. Now run down here to Dan. So we can see. Dan, Dan. Come on. Come on. Run. run. I told you to run to Dan. Why aren't you moving? Come on. <sighs> Dumb. <laughs> Stinky trees. This is not the best place to try this with the rain. And Dan, no, I clicked. <laughs> he ran in there. He's not listening. I told. What the heck? <sighs> so stinking stupid. Well, let's tell Cat to go farther away. What? All right. She just went in there all the. <laughs> oh my gosh. Move. Thank you. Come on, Dan. Move. It's taking like like almost a second for them to get my commands and actually obey. That's really annoying. But okay, so at least we know they're not that dangerous to fight. And we gain four percent. Oh, that's gonna take forever. That's gonna take a really, really long time. Oh, the process of trying to get stronger past sixty is practically impossible. It seems even with these things, it's still gonna be practically impossible. Oh. Mm, there's only a couple ways to do it, and I don't like doing that. But I have to get stronger past 60 is really, really hard, and it's just... Mm, it's basically grabbing an enemy, picking them back to an area you can just beat the crap out of them non-stop, and I just don't like doing that. I might have to do that. But this thing will make it easier, but it's just not actually working out that well. Maybe it's because I'm trying to fight too heavy, too hard of many enemies to attack, but... Come on, that damn went down. Cat should be fine though. There we go. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I am committing a crime. I'm getting bounties on me. I did not know that. That's really weird. Hmm. Okay. Two thousand each. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of here. This isn't isn't the best place. Let's see where else we could drive down to the, this ruin. I know where to get somebody we can train against. Alright, so here we are. It's in here. Just empty. Empty oh nothingness. Well, I guess we could do some exploring. Oh, Dan got stuck. Oh, please don't tell me that too. Dan, move. Please move out. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Mm, okay. There's armor ruined. We need to, if we want... Where is it at? Uh, actually, I thought it was pretty close up to here. No? I think we went pie. It's that big gorilla. I'm trying to remember where it was at now. Ah, oh, over here. The crumbling labs. Yes. Duh. Uh, I think that's probably our best bet. It's to go, go for the gorilla. Even when we have these things that supposedly help us actually get stronger fighting low level creatures, it doesn't seem to actually be working too well. I bet I'd have to equip pretty crappy sword. I'd have to equip a really crappy sword, the lowest tier sword, and then try to use it to smack against them so they don't go down in one attack but I don't want to do that all right here we are right here where the big gorilla himself king gorilla is this is a almost max stat creature he has 90 in every stat which means that we can actually level up on on him to level 90 but he takes a decent amount to take down and then you have to actually capture him inside uh an area so i'm going to quickly switch back to the paws here and i'm going to build a place for us to actually house him over here uh let's build let's see what type of building do we want to use we have outpost Oh wait, no, that's not it. There's an outpost level five, but this takes an insane amount of, I think we kind of want to use this, but it also takes an insane amount of, uh, what's it called, plates. Where's it at? Copper plates, 30. I think we have enough. I think we should have enough at least. So let's go ahead and put one of these down. This is actually what Dan and Kat are gonna have for a house. So we should probably, this is here, this is good. Putting it right here will be good. So, yeah. Confirm. That'll be nice. Build that. And then once we get that built, I also want to build some beds and different things in there 
for that as well, but they'll take a long time for them to get that there. So, so while they're doing that, we're going to go back over here and try to take on the Gorillo. But of course, can't add to take on the Gorillo if I have this black, oh no, black light there. This on. Yeah, that's not going to work. Here we go. Dan and Cat. Oh, uh, yes, that's it, I know. I don't think we're going to be able to take him down in the first go because we don't, we're pretty banged up already. But here we go. I'm going to fight him. Cat took a little bit of damage there. Oh, Dan went down. Well, Dan was already damaged, but Dan just got hit again. No, right, Dan went down. And Cat. Oh, no. Dan's down. <laughs> All right. Stop that. Hey, that was cheap. Yeah, come on, Dan. You can do it. All right, we might need to back off some. All right. And you can do it. Can't we get up here in a sec? What's the stats? What are we doing? Oh, we're not doing good at all. All right, get up. Both of you, this isn't going good. Playing dead. Yeah, that's, yeah. Go ahead and play dead. Cat, you need to heal yourself there. I think I need to sleep before I can even try this. All right. Both of you, can you pull back? Oh, no. Oh, that was mean. Yeah, that was mean. Smacking me in one attack like that. Come on, get up and go away. Come on. No. We're good. No, you don't need to fight. I said no! Oh my word! What in the world? Obey! Uh, come on. Get out of there. Thank you. No! What? No! Stop! Uh, 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 passive hold! Stop moving! Thank you! Cat will be fine. All right, you get a bit out. It, I, it, I guess it's because I build such a big outpost. There's now this weird delay. Every time I tell them to do something, they wait like five seconds before they actually do it. There we go. Bed. Confirm. At least it seems that way. Well, it appears that we are actually out of time for this episode. <laughs> uh, only a several moments left. So, before we go ahead and go on a little bit, I'm definitely still going to go ahead and take out this Grillo. I do believe I, says, I'm going to go ahead and stick him in this building that I have built in the outpost. So, if we have Deep Beep and Agnew over here, we see that they're working on building a repair bed and a... Uh, healing pod, which will enable, I don't know if I actually don't have the stuff to build the healing pod. I'll have to get some more stuff to build the healing pod, which will actually enable me to heal up really, really, really fast because 200 energy, I might have to put down some more windmills. All right. And then we can actually fight that guy constantly, nonstop over and over again, uh, which is honestly a lot of cheap. I don't want to go that way with getting stronger, but as I said, I'm only going to have two two warriors to a squad and i we do need to declare war we need to take out the holy nation sometime soon i mean it he the holy nation is starting to uh <laughs> ooh, be starting to murder people mass murder people at the stake so uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to take care of that as soon as possible but to do that we have to get stronger much stronger and well these weird weird these weird things we've got they will it, they do seem to indeed allow us to get stronger but not fast enough oh well, actually well, no, that's because we were fighting the... See how, see how it's faster it is fighting the big gorilla? <laughs> the king gorilla? We, we was taking forever just killing the tiny dudes with that on. And we were only at 64. And then we went jump two whole points killing a higher level monster. Which was like, yeah. Uh, wish there was another way. Wish, actually, actually, what I... I'm not sure exactly how I do it. There just needs to be maybe, maybe more higher level creatures. Like endless higher level creatures that you can buy, fight more and more. Yeah, uh, pretty much the highest creatures you can fight that I know of, that on a consistent basis are Legionnaires in Aslands. And they're only like 50-something each. I'm not sure. I don't really fight them all that much. But that's not going to that, that's not gonna help me much because I'm already at 50. So, <laughs> uh, well, anyway, uh, that is all we do have time for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, like, shares, and comments are always welcome. And don't forget to subscribe because there will be more to come. <laughs> Lord Mad Dog, signing off. <laughs>